Hi, I'm Mike Myers, and you're watching Comedy Central. Does the fun ever start? <laughs> to the Pro Thunderball pregame show. In just 30 short minutes, you're about to see the first ever televised broadcast of the once underground sport, Thunderball. What is Thunderball? Three balls in play at all times. Batters fighting their way around the bases, using their bats as a weapon. Wild hounds and gorgeous honeys wandering the field to distract the players. A car that roams the infield, protecting some and flattening others. And just behind second base, the gun circle, inside of which lies a fully loaded pistol that the players are forbidden to use. The rules? Simple. The game? Phenomenal. being watched by a secret organization. Their mission, to find chaos where it exists and create chaos where it does not. They are the Upright Citizens Breakers. We are live here at Del Close Stadium where the world's premier Thunderball players are warming up for what promises to be a marquee matchup between two of the best players in the game, Steve Youngblood and Silky Slim. Let's take a closer look at these two players. Steve Youngblood of the Decade of Fist. Known for his savage intensity and incredible tolerance for pain. Seen here throwing his bat away at an eight point target, leaving himself defenseless. Some say he's reckless, some say he just loves the pain. <laughs> Field. Steve Youngblood is known as one of Thunderball's greatest humanitarians. This town doesn't have a senior citizen's bus, so I volunteer my services. We're at the end of a three-mile round trip to the supermarket. I told you, I have no need for a supermarket. These old people would die without me. Oh, let's move. we got a lot of soup to serve here, friend. Ah! Come on, move it, move it. Ah! Ah, I volunteer at the soup kitchen every Friday. Come on, move it, old man. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, screw this. What's the matter with you? I volunteer. Habitat for Humanity renovates decayed properties, create housing for low income and indigent people. Today, what we're going to do is take out some of these walls and open up the space a bit. You idiot! That's a structural wall! This is a structural wall! This is a structural wall! But can even Youngblood tolerate the new Salem terrorists and the menace known as Silky Slim? In other sports, a cheater. But in Thunderball, playing right within the rules. Oh my god, Silky has thrown the first of his three ceramic balls he's allowed to throw in the game! Unbelievable! Silky has a grapefruit and he's rubbing it in the player's open wound. He has Tabasco and salt. He's pouring it on the open wounds of the player. Silky Slim is denigrating the sport of Thunderball. In the early 90s, Silky Slim used to frequent the city's most competitive basketball courts. <laughs> He was just his nature. He was a pain in the ass, a royal pain in the ass. I used to throw balls and scream and bite people and spit Gatorade in people's faces and just out of control. Out of control. <laughs> Give me the ball. Let me take it down. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Let I got me it. take it down. I got Come it. On down. I got it. Woo! We're the Woo! same team. You two pit mother. Yeah! strategy to neutralize Silky Slim. Okay, okay. Now, players, 
I'll be the first to admit that I've never coached any real sports before. What the hell? All right, all right. But I have successfully animated over 40 episodes of the cartoon adventures of the Harlem Globetrotters. So I know good ball. Now we're going to start with some fundamentals today. Want everybody pick up a baseball and learn how to spin it on your butt. On your head if you're bald. How's that supposed to help us play Thunderball? Yeah! Maybe, son! If you can learn how to spin the ball on your butt, then you can learn how to throw the ball with your butt, too. I'll pull the radio out of my afro if I have to, coach. Excellent! We could use more players on this team growing giant afros from which to pull useful objects like radios or scuba equipment. Or hand push lawnmower. Hey, coach, I got an idea. I'll pretend to throw a bucket of water at a base runner, but when I throw it, confetti will come out. Excellent. But remember, with this new animated style of Thunderball, you gotta be prepared to solve a mystery or battle a mummy at a moment's notice. A mummy? That sounds spooky, coach. It is spooky, son. But keep in mind, you, you can use your specific sports skills to solve the mystery or battle the bad guys. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, everybody get a ball. Spin it on your butt. Get your ball. On your head and your ball. Don't flex your bottom to get the spin going. Welcome back to the Pro Thunderball pregame show. You know, Doug, one of the things players love about Thunderball is its many challenging distractions. Like the hounds. Normally man's best friend, but in Thunderball, one of his biggest distractions. What qualifies you to be a Thunderball dog trainer? I can just get a lot of dogs. You know, I have a lot of dogs, so... These dogs, they're like my babies. I mean, they're just good, good baby. I take showers with them, and they're, they're like people, only they're smarter. Suki, roll over. Suki, roll over. It's, it's good that he disobeys, because if a player uh, during Thunderball said roll over, it would neutralize him. Who's my boyfriend, Mike? What do you need? Oh, I do. You want to marry me? Who wants to marry me? Who wants a biscuit down here? Come on. Thunderball is giving these dogs a chance to really... <sighs> I'm lonely. But the distractions don't end with the hounds, Doug. Players also have to deal with the honeys. Well, swimming, ladies? Huh? <laughs> Listen up, ladies. Being a prick tease is the biggest asset you got out there against Charlie. Now skate, like you're skating on something. Yeah, like a gazelle or something. You make Charlie believe it. You'll be waiting for him tonight back in his trailer home. Six pack of beer in your lap. Yeah, not too smart. Don't let him know you're smart. You learn this one quick, prick tease. Charlie, is anybody on that field who's swinging a bat, wagging a tail, driving a car, calling a foul? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. A man now down here in the bleachers with Uda. One of the honeys from the early days of Thunderball, perhaps its first breakout star. Uda? Now that Thunderball is on television, do you still wish that you were a part of it? Doug, when I was a honey, it was a different time. We didn't prance around in bikinis with our personals hanging out. We had a certain amount of class. We distracted the players with feathers and attitude. Frankly, Doug, nowadays I think the game's disgusting. The, the, the honeys are dating the players, they don't know the rules. Their distraction tactics are no better than dogs. I was fired as a honey when I gained a few pounds on a trip to Italy. So I had to do some shady distraction jobs for a while. I worked for a pickpocket. Hey, everybody's gotta eat. Which reminds me, Doug, do you know where your wallet is? What? Uh, it's I... right here, bingo. Good God, that's my wallet! The Hornet Ball! Just one of many creations made by Thunderball inventors like Sal Barley to keep players on their toes. Uh, actually, everything I make for Thunderball is a little thank you to the jocks I grew up with. Well, like this. <laughs> you see, if they uh, hadn't crapped in my locker or tricked me into tattooing the word pussy on my stomach in my Little League days, I wouldn't be who I am today, right? This is good, you have to see this. This is my new second base. <laughs> 
Nothing more than a double there, right? You know, unlike high school, Thunderball players are real gentlemen, too. Cappy Lund, for example, he got his ear lopped off by one of my axe bats. And he told me the first thing he thought afterwards was, You got me, Sal. You got me. <laughs> it just makes a guy feel good, you know. <laughs> What am I? Pimple face. I don't have any zits anymore, Kevin. Put a match out my eye. Out of all the weapons on the field, only one is totally safe. The loaded handgun placed in a gun circle behind second base. Which players are forbidden to you? In the history of Thunderball, the gun circle has never been violated. Of course, I can't imagine a few instances where a player might be allowed to use the Thunderball gun. Like if a deer wandered onto the infield, or if one of the hounds has suddenly gone rabid. Or if one of them honeys had ended up being a she-male, thus surprising a prideful rookie, then you'd be able to use the Thunderball gun. Hell, I've always said it's better to have a gun in the outfield than under a mattress where a child can get to it. But Thunderball isn't just about the glory of the game. It's also about the glory of helping others. Thunderball's Junkie Cheerleader Program takes drug-addicted women off the street a little more energy. and allows them to become Great. Thunderball yeah. Cheerleaders. Go energy. Zap. <laughs> Zap. Zap. I don't know what you guys can laugh. They're going to take my baby away from me. And mystery should be with her mama. Okay, Roxy, come on. Let's let's keep it positive, all right? <laughs> now, um, just a few things before game time. Uh, first off, I hate to bring this up, but the VCR is missing from the common room. Has anybody seen it? Maybe you lost it. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right, uh, maybe I did lose it, Roxanne. Uh, second thing, somebody is still leaving half-empty beers in the infield. If you're going to open it, finish it. Okay, now, you know that's not my point, Robin. Do you have any hard candy? I need something sweet for my mom. Uh, last thing. I was told that someone was seen recently tying off with a pom-pom. Hey, you know what, Robin? That's not cool. Hey, you know what else isn't cool? <laughs> Nodding off when you're supposed to catch me in the middle of a basket toss. Oh, yeah? Why don't you tell Andy to give me back that ten bucks? Shut up, bitch. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Come on, girls. Let's keep it positive. Let's keep it positive. Come on. Can I borrow your car? Okay, we're busy right now, aren't we, Melanie? Like, Melanie? Okay. Come on, girl. Come on. There we go. There there we go. Great. Great. Okay, whoa, whoa. Come on. Come on. That went really quickly. That was a nice short fight. Good for you. Welcome back. We're just minutes away from game time and the stadium is really filling up. This crowd here loves their home team, the Decatur Fist. We went behind the scenes to meet their lovable mascot, Fisty. Oh, yeah, hey, hey. Come on in. Come on in. What's it like to be a Thunderball mascot? Well, let me tell you. I love getting the fans jazzed for a good Thunderball match. <laughs> Son of a... Yeah. But, uh, of course, nobody, uh, you know, actually knows... Actually knows who I am. All Thunderball mascots are in the, uh... Witness protection program. So, uh, we gotta. We gotta wear our character costumes at all times. So, you know, it can be difficult to go out, uh, play cards, what have you. Excuse me, I'm parched if you don't mind. What the? You friggin' ass, Jack! Why didn't you tell me what I was doing, I? I killed 18 people, and I'll kill you! But what fans love even more than Fisty is the Thunderball car. The Thunderball car drives around the bases during the entire seventh inning, allowing either team to use it for offense or defense. 
Doug, I'm here with Duke Thompson, creator of Power Marketing, owner of the Decatur Fist, and the man responsible for bringing Thunderball into the mainstream. Duke, what's the secret to your success? Well, Amanda, I brought my new brain to Thunderball, and I thought, what puts people in the seats? Giving away something free. So, my first promotion, we had free fuel and fertilizer night. Turns out, though, that fuel mixed with fertilizer creates homemade explosives. But Duke lives, and Duke learns. No freebies that can cause harm. So then we had free marshmallow night, because kids love marshmallows. But unfortunately, some of the adults started igniting them and lofting them on the field. It's something beautiful, ugly! Well, tonight, Amanda, we've got a surefire winner. Free sock and orange night. What could people do with free socks and orange? Excuse me. Hey, folks! No more Doug, time. it looks like they're getting ready for the horseshoe toss. Alrighty, everybody, come on! Socks and orange! Now, who out there hates cancer? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, so do we here at Thunderball. That's why we're sponsoring the Horseshoe Toss for Cancer. A ringer means we donate $1 million toward cancer research. Check it out, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it's that easy, folks. Now, Roxanne. Roxanne, who's today's lucky fan? Today's lucky fan is little Benny Fravel from... You can take brothers! Okay, Benny. Okay, Benny. All right, buddy. Benny, here's your chance to be a big hero. A million dollars could do a lot of good for those poor souls in the hospital. Now, take your time. All right. Aha! Too bad. Well, a miss means we take away one million dollars from the existing cancer research fund. I think Benny deserves another chance, huh, folks? What do you say, partner? Double or nothing? Double or nothing, right? What do you say, partner? A million dollars towards cancer. Remember, these people have cancer. You didn't want to take a million dollars away from those sick people, did you? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think anybody wants to take money away from people who have cancer, right? No. Okay. Make, make it count. Make it count. Wow. That was awful. Okay. That's another million we're taking away from the cancer research fund. Come on, Benny. A million dollars, okay? You're two in the hole. Come on, Benny. Triple or nothing. Ego eye. Wow. Dexterity is not a priority in your life, huh? Let's get some more horseshoes. Monkey could do this. When we come back. The big game! I can't wait, Doug! And now, here to sing the national anthem, 14-time Thunderball MVP, Mac Buck. Looks ready to hit three balls out of the park, Amanda. Silky Slim is winding up to pitch the first three balls in this historic first televised game of Thunderball. Silky Slim is winding up and he hits a buck. He's off the pitcher's mound. Wait a minute. This can't be right. Silky Slim looks like he's... Oh, my God. Silky Slim is inside the gun circle. in his hands, that means play will continue. I am ashamed to be part of this, Doug. I have never seen a base runner shot in the back before. Oh! And Silky Slim shoots Youngblood yet again! This is horrible! And 
definite crime against all that is good, but also a savvy defensive play for Silky Slim. You don't want us my franchise! You're dead, Silky! Doug, it looks like Duke Thompson is jumping into the Thunderbolt car. He's gonna try to deal with this situation. Duke is driving the car until the field at the top of the first inning. This is a clear violation of the Thunderbolt rules. And Youngblood is still trying to score. The car's gonna hit Silky! No, it's Youngblood! Oh, oh that's gotta hurt! I'll be back! The injured Youngblood is still in the game. How does he... Shut up, Doug! Jesus! Is there anyone who can help us? What's this? You can't do that in this society. I assume a lot of people get killed. Why is the gun there then if it can never be touched? What happens if someone goes through the heroin addicts are crazy and go and get the gun? How many bullets are in there? No problem with the gun circle. No, no, no. Of course, in the circle, at least we know where that one is at. Hi, I'm Penelope Ann Miller, and you're watching Comedy Central. March 14th, 2000, tonight on The Daily Show.